Sincere relationships. What are they? Do they really need social media to help sustain them? Does it only involve conversations online that just make face-to-face -face interactions more and more awkward? Free from deceit, hypocrisy, or falseness. Earnest, genuine, and real. These are the characteristics of a sincere relationship. And I believe that social media is killing these sincere relationships. And my goal today is to convince you of the same thing. Social media uh, has a major effect on how people can view intimacy. Sam Lard, a writer for Mashable, states that people on social media can easily confuse digital intimacy with true intimacy. My sister is actually a great example of this. When I was in about the fifth grade and my sister, a sophomore in high school, I witnessed her go through a relationship that revolved around social media, specifically Facebook. She would flirt with this guy through Facebook that went to her school and the guy would do the same. However, when they had face-to-face -face interactions, it just seemed more and more awkward every single time they got together. And it was because my sister thought there was a real connection, which really was just flirting on social media, which is, wasn't anything real, when actually, you know, they asked what it was. Yeah. Um, it wasn't real at all. Another way social media can kill a sincere relationship is because a lot of times you can't even tell if someone's telling the truth. Some... People on social media create a false sense of identity all the time. A consumer report titled Facebook and Your Privacy, done by CNN, showed that one out of every four people lie on Facebook. How can you have a sincere relationship if you can't even tell if someone's telling the truth? I know what you're thinking. What are these lies people tell on Facebook? A lot of it is just height, age, and how much someone weighs. But also, one of the lies studied was relationship status. And after all, doesn't sincere mean free from deceit or falseness? So once again I say, how can you have a sincere relationship if someone is lying? However, people like Tommy Landry, a writer for CNN, claims that social media is good for long distance relationship, for long distance relationships and staying in touch with an out of state friend. And yes, in these cases he is true. However, even though the relationship may not be ruined, the sincerity of the relationship is ruined. If the two long-distance friends truly had a sincere relationship, they would not just simply hit follow or retweet or favorite a picture, they would call each other and maybe schedule a get-together. Retweeting or following someone on social media is just a cop-out. It's just something you can point to and say, hey, we're good friends, we get along. But in all actuality, it's just ruining the sincerity of the relationship. Ms. Clark, you always tell us not to use technology to be the focus of a presentation, but rather as an enhancer. I think social media can be used the same way, not as the focus as a relationship, but rather as an enhancer. If there's anything you take away from the speech, I hope it's that you remember to use social media as an enhancer to your relationship, and not the focus or the main driving point. Also, if you have an out-of-town friend or a long-distance relationship with someone, don't simply follow them on Facebook or say, oh, hey, we're great friends. Call them. Have a real conversation with them. And if you do this, I'm sure we can restore the sincerity to our relationships. Now, before I close, I actually I had to make sure my sister was okay with talking about her in a speech. And when I did this, she actually sent me a picture of how she would describe her relationship with her old high school boyfriend. And here's what it looked like. Two people on a date simply texting on their phones or going on social media or whatever have you. They're completely ignoring each other and the relationship is basically just them talking to each other on a phone. It's nothing real and like I said, it's not sincere. That's it. Good stuff.